Thank you. Okay, we're going to move on to Northeast Texas. Do you have a question for Dean Clifford? Northeast Texas, you're on. Can you hear me? Sure can. Hey. Can you hear me? Is that you, Robert? It is. Yeah. Hi, Robert Fox. Meet Dean Clifford. (laughs) Dean, Robert Fox is the one that sent me your link. Oh, hi. Well, thank you. Okay. Robert Fox is a legend here in the United States. Oh, um, awesome. Truth seekers. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the yes. stuff in the States doesn't filter up here too often because a lot of people get confused with uh, how, to, how to make it relevant in Canada. Well, here's the interesting part for you, Dean. Uh, I was born and raised in Canada. I left when I was 30 years old. I'm 62 now, so I've spent over half my life in Texas. And... Um, And I was very much interested in contacting non-slaves in Canada. Well, now you got one. (laughs) Exactly. And down here, I've been a courtroom kamikaze for over 20 years. (laughs) Yeah, when I said earlier in the the show there that uh, that a lot of the stuff we do is standing on the shoulders of giants, you're probably one of them because you've been in the fight a long time. Well, I I sent you... uh, Well, I have been in the fight a a long time and... uh, 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 I was attacked by the feds uh, not once, twice, or three times, ten times. <laughs> they were trying to give me well over a hundred years in prison, and uh, uh, have uh, published cases in two countries, and was cited in the United States Code annotated and all that stuff. But uh, and and recently, more recently, I've I've been through a, a thing with. Um, with the uh, uh, state cases, uh, they brought nine state cases against me, uh, trying to give me multiple lifetimes in prison. And uh, with uh, over three years of litigation, they've got zero victories. That's well. That the, the track record speaks for itself, then. Yes, it does. Um, and I've been Tiger. arrested well over thirty times. Well, that certainly beats my record. I, I up here uh, of all the people that I know, I think I've been one of the most beaten up so far. Well, I've I've been savagely beaten by these characters. I, at one point, they beat me so savagely that they broke my back and paralyzed me. That's uh, yeah. Well, that that sounds like a bunch of heroes. Yeah. Well, yep. they're they're a bunch of gangsters, of course. You know, they they would uh, they wouldn't have been, back in the day confronted me, uh, you know, one on one. Because uh, uh, I was the uh, there was one other guy who could lift a uh, uh, 285 pound unit like I lifted. <laughs> uh, he, he, there was only one other guy that could lift that from the ground and put it up in a truck level, 285 pounds, and I was the only one that could lift up a, a 375 pound unit. <laughs> anyway. Um, um, but they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't attack uh, face to face one on one and in a level playing field no they no they, they never have... do they're they're cowards it's the gang mentality that's the whole point exactly and uh, anyway your stuff is uh, tremendous and uh, uh, just uh, wonderful I I've, I've been teaching people for all this time that everything is contract and. Um, and also, I enjoyed it when you said that uh, UCC uh, is something they created for their benefit, not for not for everybody else's benefit. Yeah, no, it's, it's not ours. We can't force them to obey it. It's theirs. Right. It was created uh, by the by the shysters. Yep. In fact, I, I think that even just filing most of this stuff, like a lot of the GSA forms that people like to sign, uh, fill out and, and file with the government, and it, you got to remember. God, the the god of 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 the government is paper mammon right because what is money money is paper anything that any paper that has value is something the government can use the more we're filing with them of using their own forms the more value we're giving the government we're not helping ourselves we're helping them by doing this it's it's not a good thing to be filing all these documents with the government because it's their documents they're not meant for us Right, and they need our signature. They need our signature on documents to live. So people are giving them everything that they need now, and more of it. We're, we're making it worse by going and filing all this crap that we don't know what it's doing. Exactly. Yep. So uh, I wrote you a letter uh, over a week ago, uh, and apparently you still haven't gotten it. 
Crap, which, where did you send that to? Uh, where did I send it to? If it went to the Free Manitoba uh, YouTube account, then I, I didn't get that. No, 276 Hugo Street North, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Oh, geez, I don't even know what that is. Well, where did I get that? I thought it was from your website or something. Uh, I would be surprised if my address was posted on a website. That uh, That's probably something else. So yeah, if you need if you need my mailing address, if you want to contact me at uh I'll give you I'll give you an email right now. Okay. Fire away. Oh, actually no, you know what? Go to uh go, go to YouTube and go to uh DCD OTCF. So it's Dean Christopher David of the Clifford family. So DCD OTCF. That's a YouTube channel. That's mine. And if you send a message to that account, I'll reply. I still couldn't hear it right. Yeah, like D, D, D is in Dean. Yeah. C is in Christopher. Yeah. O as in of. Uh oh no, so yeah, D. D C D. So D is in Dean, O is in uh oh jeez, I, I can't speak right now for some reason apparently. Dean, Dean Christopher, Christopher Davis. <laughs> D or or B? D as in Dean. Okay. Yeah, I almost have to write this out. Oh, yeah, all right, that was yeah, D is in Dean. Dean. C is in Christopher. Yeah. D as in David. O as in of. Okay. T as in the. Yeah. C as in Clifford. Yeah. F as in family. Okay. Fabulous. All right, Robert. If you have a problem with it, email me. I'll give it to you again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and then Angela, I'll, I'll, Angela can uh, uh, share uh, our numbers, our phone numbers back and forth, if, if you don't mind. Awesome. I think she's on my Skype now too. And, okay, uh, great. Uh, it's just a, it's just an immense pleasure to uh, uh, make contact with a Canadian patriot who's not a slave. Yeah, that's. I think that's one of the big things here is that a lot of people are kind of digging the fact that uh, the, 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 I'm, I'm just not afraid of, of any of this. So more people need to be like that, and more people are being like that. So many people have stepped up now with the courage to say, yeah, you know what? If this guy can do it, I can do it. You know, F these guys. Yeah. So. We're a long-time <laughs> favorite. We, we, we've been a long-time fan of Robert Bernard and what uh, what's her name? Um, Gravenhorst, Irene Gravenhorst. And I don't even know, know who that is. Oh, they're Canadians that are right there. Yeah. Sick <laughs> of things. Uh, Robert, you don't know who Robert Menard is? I know who Robert Menard is. Yeah, I've watched a, like a couple of his videos online. Oh, he's a great. He yeah, I, I, I like I like a lot of his theories. But anyway, thanks so much, Robert. Did oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to say anything else? Uh, well, I just wanted to uh, say that I'd like to make contact on the phone privately as as soon as possible because I think I may have something. Some kind of good news for you too. Okay, now that was for me or for Angela? For you. Perfect. Then email me to that uh, to that account I just gave you there, and I'll give you all my contact information, and uh, you can even send me yours, and if and I can call you, not a problem here. Yeah. Okay. That sounds fantastic. Well, thanks a lot for the uh, for the uh, the positive uh, reinforcement on this. Well, you're you're doing great. I mean, I I, I think it's so wonderful. Uh, it's just absolutely fantastic. I mean. Yeah. More people need to be out there and, and spreading this information. Uh, myself, I kind of get bogged down with, you know, private emergencies stacked one on top of the other. So I haven't been able to uh, uh, do seminars or, or the, you know, it, it's it's a it's almost tragic because there you're of more benefit if you can, you know, touch more people, and and doing things one on one doesn't produce, uh, uh, you know, nation-changing events. <laughs> no, well, I think we're doing that. I mean, as we speak here, I think we're, by the end of the night, I'm going to turn 90,000 views on the videos on that, uh, on the on the Free Manitoba website. So, uh, hey, let's get the whole world involved in this revolution. Let's go. Are you familiar with Joe Girard? I am not. Uh, he sold Chevrolets and was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the, the greatest salesman. And, uh, I read his book and attended his live seminar, and uh, people would line up outside Joe Girard's office 
to buy a Chevy from him. <laughs> and the the thing that he, that guided him was an interesting thing. He said, uh, a man dies, uh, statistically, 250 people attend his funeral, which means that one man affects 250 others. And if you treat the one guy right, you get 250 more that are, you know, coming your way. Yep. Well, it seems to be the case. You're pointing people my direction, so I appreciate it. Okay. Well, all the best, and we'll be in touch here quick. Absolutely. I'd appreciate that. Thanks. All right, thanks. Nice meeting you. Night, Robert. Okay, we're going to move on to American Eagle 1. Hello. Hi. Hello, Angela and uh, Dean. I've, Dean, I've just watched all your videos, and uh, I am, like most people, really amazed. I'm going to step back here probably an hour and something. You were talking about um, arrested, arresting uh, uh, an official's bond. Yep. And I've heard that uh, some judges, police officers, sheriffs have been removed uh, from their office by having their bonds arrested. Can I, I've you elaborate heard a lot on of the that? Same things. Um, I I don't know much about the process to be honest with you. I'd love to know more. I think it's harder to do in Canada because uh, everything up here is a lot different than the states. The bonds aren't available publicly. They don't want to release them to you. They they hide everything from you. So we just never have really gotten into that very much in Canada. But we're trying to break through that right now. That's something we've, we've been working on the last couple of months, and we're going to be working on it for the next couple of months yet. Uh, and for, for the Canadian people, uh, I could probably help them eventually with that. For the uh, for the American side, uh, I know people are doing it down there, and I would love to hear something about it myself, to be quite honest with you, because I just don't know anything about that. Okay, I'm researching this with some other people. I'm in uh, an assembly with uh, uh, the uh, Indiana Free State, as uh, we've reseated our government here. And so if it would be also uh, acceptable, you and I could share uh, some contact info. Okay. And if uh, I yeah. find anything on this arrest, uh, the bond situation, which I'm just getting ready to get into it, and I'm around here 24-7. Uh, can't, I'm like a ten like a cat on a hot tin roof. Okay. Uh, well, do you have an email address if you want to, if you want to say that over the phone? Um. Uh, Roy Lamb live at gmail.com. Okay. Hang on. Say that again. Roy Lamb Live. Roy Lamb? Yes, so L-I-V-E at gmail.com. I'm going to need you to, uh, sorry, the, the phone's a little crackly here. I'm going to need you to spell that out one more time, sorry. Okay, R-O-Y? Yep. L-A-M-B? Oh, it is L-A-M-B, okay. L-I-V-E. Roy Lamb Live. And that's at, at gmail? gmail.com. Okay. I didn't know if I was hearing you incorrectly or if it was just the American accent or what, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh I like your accent, I like your attitude, uh you know who you are and you're standing. And that's what I told our group the other day uh as we're revamping our constitution here in Indiana. Yep. We stand. The the individual states constitution? Yes. Fantastic. The, the uh, first the... two eighteen sixteen and eight fit eighteen or yeah, eighteen fifty one are fraud on their face. The Republic, the house that no one lives in. You guys are reviving the Republic by doing yes. that. Yes. Yes. Well, people don't understand that. Here's a, you know, and I'll make another point by that. A point about that, by the way. The reason why you are you are bombarded in the states with this idea that you all live in a, a democracy is because in a democracy you're ruled by the masses. You're regulated exactly. by the masses. Individual liberties do not count in a democracy, but that's why the United States was founded as a republic. And I ask Americans that all the time, people that don't believe in what we're doing, I'll have little discussions with them, and I'll say to that, I'll say, well, hey, your country was founded as a republic, correct? And they're like, well, yeah. I said, well, when, does it, when did it become a, a democracy? And they just get that blank look in their faces like they have no idea. 1851 for sure. Yeah, no one really knows, and it's irrelevant. I don't care because I don't live in a democracy. Um, I thought I did, and I, what my definition of democracy, and I, I was born a patriot. I'm 62 years old, and I know who I am inside, and I knew all my life stuff was wrong. But then I got around some people. I literally went to the penitentiary 
for yep. standing up for the rights. And these are the people that's in the Indiana group here. 